I've just come across these <coughs> new uh, magnetic couplings. Uh, they're uh, hunt couplings. I'll show you in a minute, but uh, before I do, I'll just go back over what we've had with couplings. They've got the rope type, the big D, the smaller D, uh, the even smaller one, and of course the Cadiz uh, with the swallowtail, so it's going to the uh, NUM pockets. NUM pockets. Um, but now, I think uh, these hunt couplings, magnetic, are going to be the answers to our prayers. I say that these caddies are very good, but they're a bit expensive, and I do find that on inclines, and I don't have a, um, a, a, a helix, but I suppose it'd be the same on a helix, that they do tend to uncouple, or if, if you've got a bit of uneven track, the caddies do tend to come undone. But these hunt couplings are magnetic ones, and they come in different sizes. Uh, there's more on the way, by the way. I'm told us from next month there'll be engage. Uh, also, they will be able to post abroad next from next month. But basically, you've got the standard one, a smaller one, and then you've got the stepped one, which, as you know, some couplings, some uh, pockets when you come up one's higher than the other one so these stepped ones are ideal for that I don't know if you can see that and they're all marked up A and B, the silver and gold so I suggest that you put uh, A on the front and B on the rear of course and of course what happens is they get close to one another and that's it and they're quite powerful, they really are I'll, I'll show you as I go along anyway, but uh, this is the one, I'm just trying to show you on here first, you got your standard one there and then your, uh, your step coupling there, you can see it's on the back of the pack anyway, and that's your normal coupling, your close coupling, the shorter ones, and then your mark three coupling for your uh, coupling is for the, uh, for the HST of course. But they are different types with those. But I'll go to that as I say later on. But anyway, I'll just uh, show you how we've gone on with these. And that's what can happen, you see. And that's with the uh, with the Cadiz couplings. As I say, inclines and uh, inclines and. On the helix, that's where you can get any problems with your couplings. Yeah, uncoupling. Your problems with your normal couplings is uh, uncoupling. You can't just pull them apart like another caddy you can do. But with your normal ones, you need a, a tool or something, and you've got to get down in between. It's difficult to see. This is a, a, a special tool, of course, with a light on. But it's still awkward. Whereas with these new couplings, you just just pull them apart. Um, yeah, there's a lot to be said to show you the difference between the standard and the stepped. That's your stepped, as you can see, and that's the standard. So, as I say, if you've got one that's just a little bit higher than the other, you can put one on one and one on the other. Um, I do have that little bit of a problem with this Pullman because the actual loco is a fraction higher. So I'll put that stepped on the low core. You can see that now. As you can see, I put the stepped one on the low core and uh, the standard one on the on the coach there. And that's just perfect now. So anyway, we'll do the rest of them and then we'll send them round. There you have it. Got the uh, magnetic couplings on there. And there seems to be no problem at all. I've put the uh, stepped one on the one between the loco and the first yeah. pole. There's a slight difference in height with those two. And of course, if you get a pack of normal and a pack of stepped ones, you can overcome that problem. Right, well, have a go with that HST one. Oh, I'll show them in reverse as well. I'll say reverse it. Stop. And bring it back forward again. And they hold okay. To say the HST pack, that's that's the ones there. 
It also includes the uh, NEM, NEM couplings for the HST, as you see with the dropped uh, with the step coupling. And I say there's a bit of everything there, uh, you should be able to set yours up. No problem, I've got a problem here now, I can't. The plate that goes on the bogey, <laughs> I've put it down and I can't find it. I don't know that it's the same as me, I put things down and I just cannot find where I've put them. Ah, I'll do a bit of searching before I go any further. Maybe see better from this side now with the light on. But there you are, that's, that's with the magnetic coupling on there now, on that HST on both ends. I found that little piece. <laughs> I don't know what to say, if you're like me you put things down and you can't find them, can you? Right, well I'll do the rest of that and then we'll set the HST right, going. I've all the coaches on this uh, HST with the magnetic couplings. I've only got one problem though, and that's the loco itself. It's a different type of coupling on this. Um, that comes out, of course, it's like a normal push in, but <laughs> for some reason or other, the magnetic one is, is a shorter reach and it doesn't fit in into the NEM coupling. And then for the rear one, the dummy car as we say, that's... I'm trying to find them all. That's the same, it's a, it's a different fitting. And of course I've pulled, I've tried pulling the uh, the D uh, coupling out and I've, I've snapped it. So I'm going to have to get a new new fitting for that. But it, otherwise it's fine. Uh, we'll overcome these problems. Uh, I'll have a look at another video, somebody else has done one and see what I've done wrong. Knowing me, it's probably me that's done something wrong. That's the stepped, well it's, it's the uh, coupling for the HST and as you can see if you can do it's it's, it's like an any any M but it, it goes in but obviously it's not got a long enough reach to clip in and so it's just coming straight out so for the time being I'll just have to use my normal coupling but we'll sort it out and we'll find some conclusion I like to say that I think this is a great product Easy to install with a swallowtail like for your NEM couplings. Just clip in like that. They're uh, marked up A and B, and your A is with the. Sorry, A is with the gold end, and B with the silver end. So you know which which to go away. But it's so easy and, and I say, it's a game changer for uncoupling etc. There we go, if you just want to uncouple, you just get hold of each one out of the side and pull apart. Nothing easier is there? And they're quite, quite strong, uh, they won't come apart those when they're running around. Now I'm well pleased. But I would, uh, like I've said, I recommend having the stepped because you've got different different heights with some, that's a straight, but the straight stepped, there's uh, your standard and your short ones, and I say if you get a mixture uh, you can get whatever suits whatever stock you've got then, but uh, they're well worth trying out, they certainly are. Right, I'm that's sorry it. I'm not uh, sure to finish up with the HST because as I say, I'm going to have to get a, a different coupling for that for the low course, the coach is fine, no problem at all. Um, but with the low course on mine, it's just a, it seems to be a longer NEM coupling that the uh, swallowtail goes into. And these, what I've got, are just quite not long enough. Anyway, it's safe for you to see, and I, I didn't I mention the price. Uh, the, there's a pack of 10, which will do your five coaches, of course, for about £12, £12.90, I think it is. But I'll put the site on, I'll put the lead on and you can follow it from there. I think I'll show next time I'm on. I've been using them drawer runners for some shelving type, as you can see. 
As you know, when we're working on the layout, we're struggling for places. Uh, I'll show you how I fitted them on my next video anyway. I've done two or three. In fact, I've done, done three and I know one to do. Uh, they're, just, they're just buying from B&Q or main stores online anyway. Uh, draw runners, I think they're about, vary between £5 and £10 a set.